Well, hello, Aquarius, and welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career, for the period beginning the 22nd of February. Because it is a general reading, it may not resonate with all of you. So you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. Thank you again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find the new channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, if this is your first time, know that this is a Spirit-driven reading. I have an army of Spirits channeling messages. There, and it's an energetic reading, and there's usually homework. Also, I've been getting some of your guides and your past loved ones coming in for some of you who are guided to the video. Very interesting, they laugh, they cry. They show me things I cannot unsee. They even turned my television on in a reading in December for Leo. That was weird. Freaked me out. Anyway, they just want you to know that when we end uh, our physical existence, it is not the end. Our spirit and our energy has and always will be. All right. So, for the period beginning the 22nd of February... What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? What do we got, guys? All right. Looks like we're going to start out with the Eight of Swords. We have the Two of Coins. We have the Four of Swords. Ace of Swords. A lot of, a lot of Swords today. Judgment. We have 10 of coins. All right, so let's start there. I might pull in card, another card or two. All right, so looks like either in the recent past or during the beginning of this period, some of you may feel trapped. Now, take a look at this. She's in a red dress. Red dress is root chakra, food, water, shelter, financial security. Um, uh, the way we present ourselves to the world or the way the world sees us. So some of you may feel trapped due to some kind of uh, issue uh, in your finance, uh, your, uh, your home, um, and I'm getting that it's probably a little bit, it might be more money because, you know, I see some of you juggling your finances. Um, you're having to make decisions about money. Uh, and there's a little bit of unsurety there, all right? So we immediately have homework from Spirit, no surprise, okay? Take a rest. Take a rest. Remove yourself emotionally from that situation, okay, so that you can think more clearly, all right? You want to move away. You want to migrate away from that Earth A vibration, Earth A emotions include the hundred of negative emotions out there. Fear, anger, worry, despair, envy, jealousy, judgment. I can go on. Uh, courage it means I'm afraid and I do it anyway. All right. Hope is closer to an Earth B vibration uh, the, where we want to migrate to, but it's still fear. Okay. So you want to get to... Peace, love, joy, happiness, contentment, appreciation, charity. All right. As we move into the age of Aquarius, which we had that great conjunction back in December. All right. We want to, we're migrating towards that new vibration. So you might say, well, how the heck do I get there? I've been uh, out of work for a while. All right. So. I always go back to the dollar store. <laughs> Let's go to the dollar store and get a dollar notebook. Write down everything you're feeling. Okay? If it doesn't feel good, you're not in Earth B vibration. All right? Write it down. Get it off your chest. I'm, I'm feeling somebody having, uh, we have digestion problems. I see IBS. I see um, some Crohn's symptoms here. Feeling powerless. All right? And you want to get to feeling in joy. 
All right. So how do you do that? Well, write it down. That will help you release it and free up some space. And then start to appreciate the tiniest thing. You can find a tiny thing to appreciate. Maybe it's your morning coffee or tea. Maybe it's going outside for a moment, clearing your head without the negative news, without the, the internet and the um, your cell phone, and really just being with nature. You know, find the joy in your life. Uh, the beginning of COVID, I, I went to the car wash because I wanted to remember what, you know, I used to get such a kick out of that when I was a child. I drove my car through the car wash, all right? And it brought back that very pleasant memory so that I didn't feel so afraid. I didn't feel so alone. I didn't feel so isolated, even though I was in the car by myself. You see where I'm going? If you can do your homework, if you can do some of this homework and just release a lot of that negativity, you're really opening yourself up to deliciousness. You've got the Ace of Swords, you know, and the Ace, it's about new beginnings, better situations for work, uh, immediate positive change. If you're, if you're looking to um, have a, a love relationship, the Ace of Swords is about opening yourself up to new love, all right? And then you have the Judgment card, and the Judgment card is about opportunity, you know, it's about um, awakenings. So those of you who are, are interested in getting to that earth be vibration emotion, it's about spiritual awakenings. For those of you uh, who are looking for great change and opportunity, you know, you might be on the home front drawn to an old property, maybe doing renovations on your home. Um, relationships are reconciled. Uh, if you deem them worthwhile, you know, uh, you might, if you're single, revisit an old relationship, not necessarily physically, but mentally and emotionally to resolve any unresolved issues in the relationship. We do that by writing a letter and forgiving the other person and then forgiving ourselves. Very important to forgive yourself. Okay. As far as career and money, this is about success coming and finances improving, okay? And then you've got this Ten of Coins, you know? And the Ten of Coins is about wealth. It's about inheritance. It's about love relationships. Maybe you're going to a wedding or, you're, you, you, or some of you might be decide you want to get married. It's about expanding property, it's about investments maturing and improving. So on the finance front right here, you're, in, you're, you're moving towards a better position for yourself. Okay. All right. One more. You got the world card. Oh, gosh. Okay. So that's about triumph. It's about completion. It's about reward. Making the place you're in the dream home or maybe you're purchasing the dream home. You know, what you've been working hard towards, you're starting to see some of the benefits of that. Um, happiness and joy in, in fulfilling loving relationships, if you're starting a new relationship or you're kindled, rekindled an existing relationship. And this is about achieving your goals or a new position, okay, new work. New opportunities coming to you. So you've got the opportunity, you've got the wealth and finance right here, if that's what you're interested in achieving. So all in all, a really, a really nice reading for you guys this week. I wish there was some Aquarius in my chart, but there's not. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got Saint Germain on the Ascended Masters card, and he's talking about working your magic. What does that mean? Okay. We manifest all the time. If you didn't realize that, I'm going to say it again. We're manifesting all the time. It's just that a lot of people are manifesting what they don't want because they don't understand how to manifest what they do want. Okay, when you manifest, you don't say, I don't, like, let's say you wanted to manifest new love. 
and say, you know, I don't want to be with a stinking drunk again. Yeah, okay. All of the universe here is is stinking drunk. And what's the emotion behind that? But if you said, gee, wouldn't it be great to be with a fabulous guy and, and be specific and everything is a positive. And, but the most important thing is what is your emotional state when you do this? There was a time where I was dating somebody and, uh, we were get we were engaged and I wanted a companion chihuahua, uh, a puppy, uh, for my birthday. And, my birthday came, I threw some hints, you know, didn't get the puppy. So he says to me, he goes, you know, you seem a little disappointed. And in anger, I said, you know, I wanted a chihuahua puppy. Just like that. Very angry. The next day, one of my relatives bought me a chihuahua. They didn't know I wanted a chihuahua, but there they were. And they hand me this dog. And wow, I was shocked. I'm going, did I manifest that? Well, being so angry, I don't know if you can figure out the moral of the story. That was the worst dog I've ever owned. And after a year and a half, and then he peed on my other chihuahua, I had to find him a new home. Uh, he was a year and a half. I put up with that dog and my other, my, my baby dog put up with that dog. Okay. We're manifesting all the time. Be careful of the emotional state. When you ask for something, dwell in a state of peace, love, and joy. And what you manifest, gee, it's a song. It's delicious. It's a gasm. Okay, kids. That's all I've got. Thanks again for liking and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Take care.